Hi. Hello. We've been asked to explain the Higgs boson. I am a theoretical cosmologist, and the Higgs boson is a critical part of the way the cosmos is put together. And I'm a particle physicist, which means that I worked on the experiment that discovered the Higgs boson, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. Now, you may have heard the latest news from the LHC. It's been shut down. Shut down temporarily while we upgrade the superconducting magnet system so that we can double the energy of the particle collisions. That'll help us understand more about how the universe is put together. Hmm. Uh, and it's a good job, really, because the results so far have been a little disappointing. Really? Yeah. Before the LHC started up, all sorts of things were on the cards. It was going to probe extra dimensions, or make tiny black holes, or even manufacture dark matter. And the search for those will continue in 2015, when we run the LHC at double the energy. But for now, we're delighted with the discovery of the Higgs boson, the particle that gives all of us and everything else in the universe mass. Without the Higgs boson, everything would be zipping around at the speed of light, and well, we simply couldn't exist. Nope. But more importantly, the Higgs boson represents the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle we call the standard model of particle physics. Now, when your jigsaw puzzle is just missing one piece, you do know pretty much what that last piece is going to look like. And to be fair, the piece did look pretty much as we expected. Although it did weigh in at slightly less than what we thought it would be, it measured about 125 giga electron volts, which, in case you were wondering, is just over the mass of a xenon atom. Hmm. But I still wonder why, if he knew exactly what the last tiny piece was going to look like, Tom felt the need to buy a £6 billion coffee table to finish his jigsaw on. Jigsaw puzzles, coffee tables. Famously, when it comes to describing what the Higgs boson actually is, bad analogies are like ducks at a picnic. So instead, imagine you're at a party. The room is full of people. Now, people like us could walk about through that room without anybody noticing or bothering us. We're like particles without mass. Now, James May enters the room. Instantly, he's swamped by adoring fans. Those fans represent the so-called Higgs field. They make it difficult for James May to move around. He's become like a particle with mass. R right. Um, sorry, that, that didn't really explain what the Higgs boson is, though, did it? Right? I, mean, I mean, for a start, in this analogy, so why, why are we and James May particles, but everybody else in the analogy is part of a, of, of a field? Mm. I th to be honest, I, I think before you start, you're going to have to explain what the relationship between the, the, the Higgs field, field and the Higgs boson is. The boson is a particle. Mm. And, and anyway, the, the way you've done that, it sounds like the, the vacuum expectation value of a field is made up by particles. Mm. It's, still, it's not really... Uh, yeah, and, and why would James May be coming to a physics department party in the... The Higgs boson is a couple of symbols in a mathematical equation. But the remarkable thing is that symbols in a mathematical equation can represent components of reality. And the Higgs boson is a great example of that. We just couldn't work out how to write down an equation that encapsulated what we know about how reality works, including the fact that there's lots of mass, and was mathematically consistent as well, without that equation having these extra Higgs boson symbols lurking in there. The thing is, with those extra Higgs boson symbols and the mathematical equation, they led us to predict that in our experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, we would see new particles, in this case, the Higgs boson. And what the mathematics predicted, experiment spectacularly confirmed in 2012. And it is nice to find out that the theory was right all along. But it would be even nicer if the Large Hadron Collider could now deliver something slightly more exotic. Which is why we're looking forward to 2015, when the LHC starts running again at double the energy. A whole new coffee table, ready for a whole new jigsaw.
Thanks for watching that. If you would like to find out more about physics, science, and all other sorts of interesting things, why not subscribe to Head Squeeze? It's absolutely free, and all you need to do is click on this button. Oh, the, oh this one. No, it's it's camera left. Is it the, okay. It's camera that, left. Yeah. Right there. It's there. Yeah. There.